Hi Cancer, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. If you are new to my channel, Cancer, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you for all of your love and support. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. So this is a timeless reading for you. It could be related to anything. Energy is fluid. It may be past, present, or future. Signs and gender may be mentioned. All right. He could be a she, she could be a he. The roles could be reversed. This may or may not be your story. It is not a personal reading. So please only take the messages that resonate. Having a few throat issues, so please bear with me. I feel like a lot of things are being exposed. I'm doing the water readings today and it's a lot coming out. A lot of people will have things to say. <laughs> Or they're trying very hard to cover up things because my voice has been gone. Look, I just said the Eight of Pentacles and, the, and the, the Sun. Someone is working very, very hard. Someone is working hard to expose something or someone is working very hard to ensure that something is not exposed or illuminated. Yeah, and someone knows that they're losing the fight. Something here, justice here. Someone will be left out in the cold. They will take some type of loss. They know that. They know that this is what's coming because of whatever they did, perhaps to attack the mother, cancer. I always say cancer is, is home and mom, mom energy. Somebody came towards you and I feel like something here was, was stopped before it even got started. You're very, very protected at this time. Always, but. The Ten of Wands, yeah. <laughs> There's a burden here. Someone is overwhelmed. They're feeling stuck, stagnant, overwhelmed, burdened. Like they are missing opportunities. Someone knows that they're doomed moving forward. Because of something that they've done in the dark that's being illuminated, they're doomed. Six of Pentacles person could have made a deal with the devil or there's a Capricorn involved somewhere. Something toxic. The will of fortune. It's karma. The ten of cups is here. Divine intervention. I feel like you have good karma coming. Something is going to work in your favor with the ten of cups. But first, but first, there has to be this divine intervention. For some of you, this is I don't know. It could be a breakup, a divorce, a separation. Like I said, something being exposed, though. Hmm. Let me see. This could have something to do with a marriage, for sure. Because I have a deck over here to the side that says justice. And here is the marriage. And underneath that is the hidden. Someone made a love offer to another person while they were still married. That's being exposed. Yeah. The sun <laughs> and the five of pentacles. You're free from whatever this is. Something was going to bring you some type of hardship or someone. Uh, someone could have been giving their finances to someone else. And that is the reason why there were financial hardships or issues in the connection. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. For some, there's a hidden child that someone has been taking responsibility for. Some of you definitely need to be checking your finances. This has been coming out in your reading every week. You need to be mindful of your finances because there's been some type of restriction. There's a person that betrayed you. They restricted something in your life with you somehow because they were betraying you. They were giving to something else unbeknownst to you. And now this person is trying to escape. Somebody here is trying to avoid jail time. Six of swords, a lot of swords out here. <clears throat> Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Six of Swords. I feel like for some of you, though, you're coming out of some type of restriction. This person had you restricted somehow because of something that they were involved in. 
their worst nightmare is coming true. And this person now, they have to transition. They have to move away from you. Wow. Seven of Cups. Yeah, this person was spreading themselves thin. They were offering their love to a lot of different people. Page of Wands in the reverse. They want to put the wand away now. Somebody's wand, their little wand, got them in a in a a big scandal. <laughs> I was being facetious when I said that, but that's what I heard. Their little wand, <laughs> feeling trapped. Yeah, they're trapped. Wow. Somebody has gotten trapped in something. That they cannot get out of. The hangman also it, with the seven of cups. Somebody here is lacking direction. They don't know where to go or what to do. This is the, I'm telling you their worst nightmare. Four of pentacles in the reverse. Mm. Something here about a shared space. Someone may have to move out of a home. They're going to have to go and live with someone else. <clears throat> or this is what someone is afraid of. The four of pentacles in the reverse. They're definitely afraid of losing everything that they worked for or saved. I just, I don't know why I'm hearing shared space. The chariot in the reverse. Yeah, something isn't moving forward. And somebody, somebody could be losing a car. Huh. Yeah, somebody is feeling very powerless. They don't have any, uh, like, no drive. They're lacking direction. Somebody literally could be losing a car. Losing a lot. Yeah, two of pentacles in the reverse. Whatever this person's choice was to pursue something... The Empress in the reverse. Wow. And the Nine of Cups in the reverse. This was a very bad decision for this person to go in whatever direction they thought was better for them. They made a choice, though, that has now led to them being miserable with the empress in the reverse and that's justice mm. queen of cups in the reverse cancer um this is cancer readings but the the chariot came out in the reverse and the queen of cups in the reverse and the empress in the reverse cancer is this you or is there another cancer involved? Because this is a lot of cancer energy. Or is this person, did they do something to put you, like, turn your world upside down and it backfired? Hmm. It's a lot of cancer energy, though, in the reverse, in your reading. Page of Wands in the reverse. Page of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here does not take care. They're, they're, somebody isn't taking good care of their children. Or they're being very childish. Okay, so somebody here was very, very childish. Somebody here just like completely lost it. This person was irresponsible. Like, I'm talking bad sexual health and bad financial health. The Page of Wands in the reverse and the Page of Pentacles in the reverse with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse and the Hangman. Somebody here was like just... It feels like they were feeling trapped. And so they just went out being extremely irresponsible. And they now have made a mistake or gotten trapped in a situation that they can't get out of. The Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Empress in the reverse... And I hate to like speak on like really, really low vibrational things like this. But this actually could be a type of person right now. This could be a, like a, a man who has two different people pregnant right now. 
there's just a lot of immoral things that this person has done. Like, I don't, I don't know what got into this energy. The seven of cups and the hangman, this person just was living in some type of fantasy or an illusion. I don't know if this person started drinking and they were under the influence or they did something while under the influence. Um, it definitely feels like somebody. Yeah, it's like. Somebody had a dream of living some type of lifestyle. They felt restricted. But they were trying to be sneaky. They didn't want to go all in with something because they were trying to maintain two different lifestyles. Like the Empress in the verse and the Queen of Cups in the verse. This is someone who had two different people. They really weren't taking care of either one, really. But this person just kind of went on like a warpath of being very irresponsible. But something has happened that they can't take back. This person has lost a lot um, financially or it's, it's something about their health, their sexual health and financial health. temperance in the reverse. Like what in the world is going on? Everything is falling apart. This person had no... No self-control. Like was completely reckless. And then the tempers in the verse with the chariot in the reverse. I feel like somebody has like wrecked a car or something. Or it's like they just ran this relationship or marriage or something just down into the ground. Like somebody has ran something in the ground, either literally or figuratively. Where it's like there is no coming. Yeah, the tower, there is no coming back. This is just. The tower is out here twice. Whatever this is, it, it feels tragic almost. What? The lovers, two of swords. So somebody here was stuck at some point at a crossroads about a connection. And I'm assuming this person, Six of Swords, they chose to move forward with somebody different. This person has a woman and a child. This man, this could be you and this person have a child together or... They started to move forward with someone else and they have a child or they're expecting a the child. Six of Pentacles. Yeah. So this person may have been generous with you financially, but they were elsewhere doing something else being reckless. Nine of Cups. Somebody here has definitely been drinking. And they felt like they were living like a life. I mean, this person that was partying like a rock star. <laughs> the star and the four of wands. The high priestess. Four of pentacles. Judgment. Wow. Some of you could have been trying to heal your connection. I don't know if some of you had like a separation from a person. And I feel like you were trying to heal the connection. This person had already decided like they were about to go out and be very reckless. And that's what they did. Eight of Wands. Yeah. And they ran this connection, a car or something down into the ground. Ace of Swords. That's the truth. Part partying. Three of Cups. All they cared about was their wand and they went out and it's a bunch of people arguing about their wand right now because they were juggling. This person was juggling, lying. Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords. They've gotten caught up. 
this person was very, very like promiscuous or something. King of Wands, they became very aggressive about being popular, being well known, being loved by a lot of people. You and this person have history, but they felt like they were restricted. For some of you, I have to say this, it's not everyone's story. For some of you, though, this is a man who decided to get involved with like, um, there's some type of, I'll say lifestyle, alternative lifestyle. You could have been married to this person. Listen, this person could have been sleeping with people of both sexes. This person's sexual health was very, very poor. And it affected their fight. This person was going out, spending their money on alcohol, hotels, trips, travel. They have a whole life where this person has an addiction, porn, or something. And I'm telling you, it's all, it's sex. It's all about this, these wands. So this person could have a sexual addiction. You may not have known about this. Or it happened. This person just kind of let loose. And look at this, even over here, passion. The knight of wands, like just reckless. In and out, eight of swords. That's your energy, the eight of swords, like... You were feeling in some kind of mental entrapment, like not really sure what was going on. The Knight of Pentacles, this person started dragging their feet with you, moving really, really slow. I don't think that things were manifesting in your life with this person. They were feeling very defeated and facing a lot of endings because of whatever they were doing outside of this connection. But they also were trying to block you from finding out the truth. This person didn't want you to find out the truth because something here is being exposed yeah, a secret. They didn't want you to know how bad things were because something about this person, especially if they've been dealing with some type of group or collaborating with people, there's evidence of the things that they've been doing. They didn't want you to find that out, not so much because they cared about your feelings, but because they're in way too deep. This person, it's their worst nightmare of them being exposed and them losing everything. Judgment, yeah. They, they're going to lose everything that they work for. Home, marriage, job, everything. This comes out every time I do your reading. Someone here is going to lose everything. Home, job, any person that teamed up with them, collaborated with them. And they're in deep regret and sorrow. Because I'm telling you, if this is a legal situation, the court will be ruling in your favor. That's it for them. They're going to lose something. And this person also may not really have access to their child in the way that they want because of their behavior. It just seems like somebody here is a loose cannon. The hermit card could be a Virgo. Leo, Virgo energy. Libra. Have Lib Libra. Leo, Virgo. Scorpio. Page of Pentacles, Leo, Strength Again, Page of Cups, Queen of Wands, the Chariot and the Devil. Let me just say this. It's not everyone's story, and it's specific. This person is about to find out that they have a child with someone else. While they were going out being reckless, they have a child with someone else. And I feel like everything that this person has done... If this is a legal situation, they will not, because of their character and these unethical, just immoral things that they've been doing, they're going to lose everything. They're not going to be able to have like the, whatever they were hoping to, to gain financially or maintain or even have when it comes to their rights as a parent, they're going to face a lot of restrictions. This person went out and did something. I'm talking 
they went off on the deep end. I don't know if this person had an addiction. You got the queen of wands out here and the devil. I don't know if this person got linked up with somebody and they were under some type of influence or spell. I don't know, but they took one heck of a risk in doing something and it has destroyed them. Wow. Relocation. Some of you could be moving for work or moving to a new home. Yeah, I don't feel like you have a choice. You're at a crossroads and you're faced now with being single for some of you. You could have wanted to fight for your family, but you can't fight for this. Sad news. I can't make... I, this is sad because something here is happening suddenly. It's being exposed and you don't have a choice but to sacrifice this situation in order for you to have wish fulfillment. You have to. For some of you, it's in the best interest also even of your children to make sure that this energy. You know, they're, they're, you're just going to have to have boundaries and restrictions with this person. Some of you are dealing with the person and. Yeah, this some of you, this person, they're going crazy. It's like either this person is dealing with addictions or their mental health or something is declining. It's because this person's worst nightmare of them possibly getting someone pregnant has happened. Yeah, hot mess is behind it. <laughs> this person... This could be an older person or something, but they're literally about to have to start over, possibly with a child. And it's with somebody who is a hot mess. And I can see cancer. If this is your reading, this is so embarrassing. Because this is someone that you already have reconciled with. You know, you could be married to this person, but it feels like there is history here. You reconcile with this person before you've forgiven them for things in the past. And you have no choice now but to leave this situation as it is. This feels like somebody for some of you. Or your worst nightmare is coming true. You could have always had the fear that like this, you know. Somebody would cheat and possibly have a child with someone else or your worst nightmare could have been having to go through a divorce. That's what's happening. And I feel like this person, whoever they are, there is a particular person that they, they dealt with in the past that you are aware of. Either they never stopped dealing with that person or they're back dealing with that person. But to add insult to injury, they could actually be having a child with someone. There's something very, very scandalous here. I hope this isn't like a friend or a family member or something. Children, yeah. <laughs> you have your children, abundance, and the star. You have a child with this person for some of you. And you're going to be okay. You're going to heal. You're going to have an opportunity to raise your children and you more, you know, financial abundance. You're going to be rewarded for your efforts and how you handled this situation. But this was for sure like a karmic relationship. Some of you, unfortunately, you were married to and have children with your karmic. And by leaving this situation or divorcing this person, you're about to see a major breakthrough. Wish fulfillment. You just having some peace. It's sad that, you know, you, you may have to be like a single parent or obviously the, the, the dynamic of your home and everything else is going to change. But when you find out what this person has been doing and for some of you out here, not everyone, but for some of you, this person has been sleeping with someone that you know or someone that you work with or both or someone that they work with. This is just a scandal. It's really 
nasty, it's disgusting. This person has fallen into a trap. Like they have an addiction or they were under the influence. They did something and they kept doing it. This is definitely, this person is a repeat offender. This is not a one-time thing. And both of you right now are flabbergasted at whatever is happening because it's your worst nightmare. Everything is being exposed. There's a, like I said, I'm getting bad mental health, bad financial health, bad sexual health, everything being exposed. Someone literally may have to leave their job or where they live. Somebody's going to have to just leave. Every, it's like the walk of shame. Is putting it like, like this person is going to be so ashamed because it's like not only did you cheat, you went and you had a child with somebody. It's just some type of really close connection, though. I don't even want to get into it. Mm -mm. But it's this forcing you now to clean up your life. Yeah. Look, friendships. Some of you may lose a friend. Because you may find out that this person mm -mm -mm, has been dealing with like a friend of yours. I'm hearing that Kelly Price song. Um, she was a friend of mine. She left with my man. She lied, cheated, and left me. No, he lied, cheated, and left me confused. Man. Ooh. Here's the moon. Listen to your intuition. Your intuition told you that something was off about this man. Oh, my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> oh. Oh my gosh some of you this person has slept with somebody of the same sex and it has crossed your mind before whether or not this person may swing the other way and yeah there is a very deep hidden truth about something from the past that involves a man and a friend Oh my gosh. So some of you, your person was having a bromance. They were sleeping with a friend. Or they've been, oh my goodness. Ay, ay, ay. This person, for some of you, they have some kind of fetish. That's where their money has been going. And I, I feel that they've been doing things with people of both sexes. It's like you may be finding out that this person has slept with someone of the same sex, a, a friend from the past. They could possibly have somebody else pregnant. I don't know like what happened because this is not the person that you know. Look, owl. Like something, you're learning a very, very hard lesson. I feel like you're learning a very hard lesson not to doubt your intuition. Your intuition was telling you that something was off about a person. But this person also, oh my gosh, somebody here could have gotten into some type of they're going through some type of crisis or this card, the owl card says inner wisdom and spiritual evolution with alien here. I just feel like this person wanted some type of new experience in life. And instead of them doing shadow work and healing, they started exploring with something sexually. This person fell into some kind of addiction or lifestyle and it was a way for them to cope with something okay i don't know if this person has some kind of trauma from their past but they were using sex as a way to cope and now that everything is coming out you could be finding out that this person has been sleeping with people of the same sex 
for some of you people who are significantly younger than them, oh my gosh, who in the world am I channeling today? Marriage, and you've been married to this person, and all of this has been hidden. It's like some of you are like, who did I marry? Who in the world is this? This person, like with this mask, I don't know if this person's been going to like some kind of masquerade balls or they're going to some type of party or group or event. It's a, it's a secret society or a subcultural group of some kind. These are people who all share the same. I'll be honest. Y'all, it sounds like this person has become a swinger. Okay? Th that's what I'm getting. It seems like this person. Oh, wow. Is a swinger. Now. I feel like I'm talking to some of you right now who are in long-term relationships or marriages. Some of you, you and this person, you could have tried something. They kept trying something without you. And it got out of control. This person got, oh my gosh. Oh, I, I, I cannot stay in this too long. Magnetic, yeah, seduction, charm. It says attracting to attraction to something or someone else. Hard to resist something or someone. Wow. And that friend here. So some of you, you had some kind of spicy activity. This person, they took this to a whole different level. And it's like something has become. It has. Yeah, <laughs> it has brought the beast out of this person. Wow. And this person is just out there right now. They're losing everything, but it's, they became addicted to this. It's whatever they're doing, like it's a lifestyle. They enjoy this. I feel like it's they're a part of a swingers group, honestly. Travel, yeah. They travel. They were looking for some kind of adventure and they found it. Some of you, like I said, you and this person could have traveled. I, you know, people go to certain parties. Married people have their own stuff, you know. I, Adult only resorts and things like that. This person. They enjoy something. And they continue doing it. Maybe not with you. So maybe you and this person. Before you had children. You would spice things up a little bit. Maybe after a child. You stop doing certain things. They continue to do it. And. They've discovered something. In this lifestyle that has has their mind gone. This is where their money is. This person's money is going towards travel, parties, trips. They could be paying for certain pleasures. Oh my goodness. Evil eye. You're protected. Burnout. Yeah. Ghosting. Fragmented. Yeah. You're, you may be very angry about this situation to find out. It may be difficult for you right now to handle things. This person could have ghosted you or made you just feel very rejected. Like you couldn't understand what was going on. This person is fighting. This person is fighting some kind of sex demon that they picked up somewhere, to be honest with you. And they, they're feeling very angry. And if you're fighting this person in court, they're angry about something, fi finances. Finances could have become a very big issue for you and this person. It's because they're hiding the fact that they have an addiction or they're taking care of someone. They're paying for something to be done. Yeah, this person is sexually fluid. Fluidity is here. They have a very open mind 
about something. They wanted to see something out in the world. Poor, poor mental health and higher power. Yeah. Mm. I'm hearing um, Beyonce's song, Cuff It. Somebody could be a Virgo, but I'm hearing in the part of the song, the remix, where she says something about I, she'll make you levitate or I bet you'll see God or something. This person, this is like sex, drugs, and all kinds of stuff that they're into. Or um, I don't know if they're, they're get, getting into something spiritual. They're doing much, you know, shrooms or something. But there is some like almost like a mind trip enhancement or is it's some type of enhancement, something psychedelic, like they're going on some kind of mind trip. So again, it's like a swing of like like they're they're, you know, I don't know. <laughs> popping pills and popping some other things too, I guess. I don't listen. <laughs> this was a lot. <laughs> Cancer, what are y'all doing out here? Hmm. It must be because there's a full moon coming up while these readings are like this. Like, there's so <laughs> five of cups in the reverse, so you're moving forward. I don't feel like you're going to invest in this situation. You know that it's like a bad, a bad, this was a very bad investment. Four of wands in the reverse. Yeah, this is over. You're unhappy. You may have to leave your home or this person has to leave their home or the home that you have together. Five of wands, lots of conflict. You know, the devil is here. I'm getting Capricorn and Virgo energy. And there's a fire sign feminine somewhere. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. That could be who this person is. <clears throat> For some of you, this is a friend. Or like I said, or somebody that you've had some type of encounter or experience with. Maybe it was supposed to be a one-time thing, but this is like a friend, a family member. Yeah, the three of swords is here. Or yeah, oh my gosh, I can it's a queen of wands, y'all. Leo, that queen of wands was in your energy, um, in your reading last week, and you were in their reading. It came out three of swords, the queen of wands, with the ace of swords here and the two of cups in the reverse. Mm, mm, mm. That's your answer. The fool. This person here lost their mind about this, about whoever this is, with the high priestess in the reverse. Somebody did not trust their intuition. They were manipulated or this person tries to manipulate you. The five of pentacles, somebody, whoever this person is, if this is a woman, this person ran this man crazy. I don't know. I don't know what this person did to this man, but this man is now in poverty. They're losing everything. They can't believe the turn of luck in their life. And it's because of this Queen of Wands. I mean, it's not only because of them, but the things that they got involved in with this energy has it has led to this downhill spiral. Somebody has just lost control of everything. Oh my gosh. This has to be some kind of sex addiction. Oh my goodness. And for some of you, For some of you, this Queen of Wands, and this is not to offend anybody, I'm just telling you the energy. For some of you, either this Queen of Wands is into a lot of very, very, very explicit things, or this person could be trans. Your person feels like they were getting the best of both worlds, or they're into a lot of 
other activities where it, it's allowing them to have many different experiences with many different people. So I don't know if they're dealing with someone who is into the swinger lifestyle or they're like poly or something like that. I feel like you guys have been at home crocheting, taking care of the kids, and this person is just out. I'm talking going crazy. Yeah. Look, passion. This person was in your life to teach you some kind of spiritual lesson. I know this is one hell of a lesson to have to learn, but sheesh. Yes, and look at this card, learning. They taught you some, some stuff for sure. I don't know if this is a past situation for some of you or if it's going on now. It says sixth house, what someone does routinely, their responsibilities, their skills and training, their employment, their job, irresponsible. This person has been very irresponsible with someone that they work with or that you work with. That's the connection here. You know who this person has done this with. And remember I was saying before something about alcohol, this could have started these people drinking or something. But this is the reason why for some of you now, you're going through a divorce. This um, person was is narcissistic and you have generous here. I feel like this person was being generous with someone else. They were paying for something. Or somebody or or they're paying somebody to keep quiet right now because, oh, that could be a thing too. They could be paying somebody now hush money to keep quiet about this. Yeah, it says addicted to someone or something. And on this card is two females. I'm telling you, somebody out here is dealing with somebody that is of the same sex. So for some of you, you're in a same sex relationship or your person is hiding the fact that they're with someone that they've been dealing with the person that is of the same sex. Or like I said, this is someone that for some of you, you chose to have some type of experience with. And your person decided to keep dealing with that person. Mm. You have her keep shining in legal issues. Yeah, digging for gold. Yeah, this person, somebody here is trying to pay somebody hush money now because the situation has led to a divorce, most likely. And this person could be very narcissistic, but I can guarantee you the things that they've been doing behind closed doors, being irresponsible, they don't want anybody to know. And whoever this person is now, I'm sure they feel trapped by this situation. They're having money problems because, see, we had a reading like this a long time ago. This person has been paying somebody to keep quiet about this lifestyle. Now that they don't have the money or they're about to lose the money, this person's like, where's the money? You know, if, if you don't pay the money up, then they're going to expose someone. Someone is threatening to expose a person for everything that they've done in the dark and they have receipts on it if they don't continue to pay them. So somebody's money has been going towards this person that they've been trying to keep quiet. Yeah, eavesdropping here in groupie. Wow. Mm -mm -mm. First house, it says here, one sense of identity how they express themselves, their first impressions they give off. Someone here has, has heard somebody, there's evidence of this. I can tell you eavesdropping and how somebody expresses themselves, there's evidence of this. This person has been caught dressing up or caught with their pants down or something. There's something that they don't want people to know. And with this groupie card, it says, can't be alone. Always has to partner up with someone tagging along just for the sake of it. This is someone here who has possibly been in a relationship and, and they've been using a, a, a woman and even children as a beer. This person has a totally different lifestyle. I feel like this person, if they were bisexual, it seems like they're leaning more towards just being gay. Um. 
because they started to routinely hook up with somebody. And I feel, I really feel like this is somebody who looks like a woman, but they're not. I don't think this, this person wasn't assigned the male gender at birth. I mean, female gender at birth. They look like a woman, maybe talk like a woman, sound like whatever, but somebody here has pictures, photos or something. And this is leading, and this person is like, well, if you want to hide me or whatever, then pay me. That's where somebody's money is going to this person, trying to keep them quiet. This person is a narcissist and they met their, <laughs> this person is a narcissist, they met their match. Well, whoever it is that they've been with, this groupie, they met their match. Because this person has them in a chokehold. Like, if you don't show, if you don't get the money, do understand. This person is threatening to call and expose and do all kinds of stuff. It's like whatever they have to do to keep shining. Somebody got linked up with a groupie. A real groupie. That is their karma. This is this person's karma. Instead of them working on themselves, their family, whatever. They got linked up with this person that is just as big of a narcissist as them. And now this person is like taking them for everything that they're worth. And on top of that, they're about to lose everything and, and possibly have to give you everything that they have, too. If this is a divorce, this person's catching hell from every direction. Like I said, their little wand got them in a big, big, big scandal. They they should have kept this wand to themselves because, oh, my goodness. This queen of wands knew what to do. To destroy this person. I'll tell you that. I'm going to leave it there you guys. Um, I may have to come back and do another reading for you guys. Because this was a lot. It has to be due to the full moon coming up. Like it's just been. A day of exposing. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. But my goodness. Yikes. Cancer, let me know if this is your situation or what's going on. This is not a reading that I want to actually resonate with a lot of people, but I, I know it's someone's story. Um, and my goodness, you may not know right now, but this, this may give you a little bit of clarity about a situation. If your person is hiding money and suddenly very cold, detached, and traveling a lot, and hey, and especially if you and this person were traveling and trying to spice things up, or if you have a friend or family member that's being very awkward, or they're spending a lot of time with a friend, family member, or this person, I feel like whoever the, the signs are there. They're they're changing some things of the signs are there that this is happening. I hope it's not this extreme for everyone, but some of you you you're learning a lesson not to ever um ignore your intuition in situations like this because I feel like you've had a dream, a download or some kind of nudge that this could be possible. Now, what may throw you for a loop if this is your story is for some, like I said, there's a child for some, it's a same sex situation. I just, I just don't think that you have any idea how deep this actually goes because this person being a narcissist, they're so good at hiding this other lifestyle that they have. This is the kind of person they're, they're at home for dinner every day. You, you would never suspect it, but when they're going to work or travel or something else, they're a totally different person. And it feels like this is something that came about suddenly. It's 
like after a trip or after something, this person has some kind of experience that has, they've gotten turned out. That's all I'm, that's all I'm going to say. They, they, this, somebody turned this person completely out and they're, they are far gone. They're, they're done. So sorry, cancer, that this happens to be what came out in the reading today. I don't want this to resonate with you, but if it resonated, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I love you guys all very much. Please stay encouraged. Continue to shine. You will receive your justice if this is your story, or even if this happened to you in the past, continue to stay strong. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.